Can I, a believer in Christ, be real sure of the forgiveness of sins? You might want to highlight, circle the two words, real sure, or write the word certain. And uh, our, our position is, based upon the Bible, you, you should be certain of these things. An uncertain salvation is no salvation at all. How can you find comfort in something you can't be sure of? And if you're not sure of it, you're basically calling God a liar. Okay, so let's look at these passages real quickly. Titus, Paul's letter to young pastor Titus, chapter 1, verse 2. God, who cannot lie, promised eternal life. That's an idea of credibility, right? I mean, for example, I might hear a story, you know, I've said before, I really like Ken Griffey in a way. I wish he could come back to the Mariners. I know it'll never happen. But just go along with the story here. Let's say I hear a story, uh, you know, one of my junior hires in my seventh grade catechism class says, hey, pastor, did you hear Ken Griffey Jr.'s coming back? Mm, I probably wouldn't believe him. He's a seventh grader, right? But if then later in the evening, one of my adults at the church council me, hey, pastor, did you hear Ken Griffey Jr.'s coming back? I'd probably believe him. What's the difference? Credibility. And that's what God has. If God gives us a promise, the only reasonable response is, believe him. If he says, I forgive you all your sins, the appropriate answer is, great. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Second Timothy, Paul's second letter to young pastor Timothy. I know him who I trust, and I'm sure he can keep for that day what I've entrusted to him. Again, do you hear the idea of credibility? Romans 8, 38, 39, I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. I think he's sure. So from these passages we learn, I can and I should be sure of my salvation because God has promised me forgiveness in heaven and God's word is sure. Now, that, what the note I'm going to end up on this last paragraph in the parentheses. We must never, in matters concerning our salvation, rely on our feelings. Feelings fluctuate. They're up and down. The only basis for faith is the rock of God's unchanging and ever faithful word. See? Now, I've known some Christians, you know, that when they're feeling really good about their Christianity, they feel saved. And then when they hit some hard spots in the road, or maybe they're struggling with some sins, all of a sudden they feel like they're not saved. You never, ever want to judge your relationship with God and your eternal life on the basis of how you feel. Mm -hmm. this, this is your rock, and God promises you, and he does not lie. See, as a matter of fact, that's how you're going to keep your sanity if on those bad days you're down here as a Christian. How could God love me? Look what I have done, or look what I haven't done. Because if Christians are honest to one degree or another, all Christians get depressed and despondent and discouraged because we're never what we want to be, are we? See? And so, and then the worst thing you can do is to look inward. Because if you look inward, all you're ever going to find is sin. No, you always want to look outward to God's promises to you. Because it's only His promises in the gospel that eventually will take you from down here to what? Bring you back up again in that peace that passes all human understanding, that despite how I feel, Jesus Christ has already taken care of this. It is finished. And, 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 and sometimes I get melodramatic, and I, I mean this in truth. And this is what sometimes can bring tears to our eyes. Because we're down here, and it dawns on us, and we believe, you mean God still loves me? Yes. You mean God forgives me? Yes. See? And that's what brings us back up, and wants us to even love God more, and to keep on what? Keep on trying, even though we never reach what we want, because we live under God's grace, love, and forgiveness. So that's very important.